Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, this video we will talk about exports and the module the module dot exports. What's the difference between them? So, uh, you have to keep always keep in mind <coughs> when we using require to include a module. What the module dot exports is what being returned. Uh, in our in our press, this is being returned, not exports. Okay, so let's take a look at one uh, demo. So here we have uh, uh, what's the uh, we have app and the product. Suppose we do something like this. Pro, uh, sorry, class product. Okay, and uh, this one if okay. Let's create a product, have a product name, okay? And this dot underscore name equals name. When we're using this underscore, we means we want it to be private. And we will provide a getter and a setter to access them. Return this dot underscore name dot to upper, app upper case, okay? And uh, you, you also can provide a setter. Uh, this dot, yeah, set name. New name, okay. Okay. And now what I did here is this one. So I did this step and now here I using const uh, product right equals require R E Q U I R E require dot uh, current folder product dot js file right and uh, since here we expose is a constructor which means we can create object right we can create a const prod uh, one equals new product and we can give a name called uh, mug okay mug is this a correct word prod one dot name got it this one got it now when we run cd go to exports and node app.js you will see something which is a run okay let's take a look at see now it tells you product is not a constructor so let's comment these two and print out what is actually the product returned what is this product here okay you are see and what empty object empty object so let's see what is happened here so let's uh, let me show you uh, let me show you here i want to using half a half okay you yeah. huh? how can i do half half oh my god okay uh, how do I do half and a half? Okay, what do I do here? Okay, let me do here. Okay, good. You, 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 sorry, sorry. E, e, here. Okay, good. Now, good. So, here it is. At the beginning, okay, so uh, at the beginning, the module that exports is an. Uh, empty object right is an empty object okay inside of this is empty object you already see and uh, where what is exports at the beginning because do you still remember this one at the beginning the exports this of uh, variable will 
assign a value to this one, which means uh, here, this is our empty object, which is this one at the beginning, and uh, exports point to here, okay? And the module dot exports also point to here, right? And we will return, what we return is return this piece of information. And what is this exports equals product do at the end? It means here we have a product class. And you just change this direction, point to modular export to here. Okay, you change to another place. And uh, when we uh, require and return, it's actually still return this part. That's why inside our app.js, when you console log product, you want to, you only only see this empty object, and previously you see this error because this just a change. This just a change exports point to another place, point to the point to where uh, point to the product class how to solve the problem the first solution because module dot exports is whatever being returned right so we just assign the product to module dot export and eventually the node will do this step Eventually, the node, uh, we are the wrapper. Eventually, we are return this. So when we return this one, it actually return the product. In this case, when we run, first you will see product is a class. Then you will see the value if everything correctly. See, uh, when we using node app.js, product is a function product. Uh, do you know why it's uh, called a function? Because when we using the class, which is a ES6 syntax to create this, uh, um, uh, what's the, oh, when we using the class, which is ES6 syntax, but behind the scene, actually, eventually, the, ES, the class will turn into a function constructor. And a function constructor is a function. That's why here you see it's a function. It means it's a function constructor, okay? And uh, it will call the, uh, the product one dot name. This one you see all the cases are uppercase, but here actually we are using lowercase. When we call pro prod one dot name, actually it is calling get name method. So we change it to be uppercase, okay? So this is one solution to solve the problem. There, suppose you really want to use in exports, how to do that? We can do it. Here, I don't want to do that. I want to use export. What you can do, you can use in exports, okay? Dot, export, uh, exports. Uh, let me check this, export or exports. module dot drop or oh, exports okay exports dot product equals pro product do you know what is this do what is this thing doing now and uh, if you don't understand we will give uh, you a uh, sina explain to you later but now if if you already understand what should i change here what should i change here you have to do what? Product, right? So let's run. You will still see everything works. Okay. So now let's let's explain what we are doing here. Okay. Using another one. Okay. You. So at the beginning we talk about exports this variable and module dot exports this variable we are point to the same empty object right and uh, this module.exports is gonna be returned 
and now both of them point to the same same empty object what is the exports doing this line doing this line is uh, kind like it has uh, a product here and uh, the value is a product this is the key can be anything you want and this product is the class we are doing so eventually let me make it to be uh, like this okay like this so we can have two okay so eventually when we require when we require what do we get you get this piece information you get an object right then how can i get this product class once you have an object you have to using dot the key right dot key this is a javascript object and uh, uh, if i want to get the this one i have to using this object dot key right so require require this require this product will return the entire object how to get this one using the key the key is product that's why here i using product once you get it you will get the class suppose here i change the prod what's gonna happen you have to change the code where so this one it means this part is changed to be prod and then if you want to get this product this product represent this class product which this part represent the class product you also have to change the here to be prod because this is a key in order to get the product class so be careful when you using exports when you using exports itself when using exports itself don't do something like this because if you do like that it will still return uh, an empty object which is return module.exports okay don't assign reassign just to trying to add new things into this empty object okay that's it hope you understand now okay so if you still are not clear about the exports versus the module.exports module uh, leave a comment thank you very much and see you next time uh, by the way the source code is in the description it's gonna have a link okay see you bye bye